you, but you just gotta watch your mouth, you know what I'm saying? People get hurt and get killed for less, and, and if you say you never seen me in life, come on, bro, like, that's weird, like, that just don't make no sense. And when you speak upon rappers, that's our culture. Three of them, the guard. It's just perplexing that every time I jump out the Rari, jump out the race, they're like, damn, who do you play for, you know? Damn. That nigga ain't play no sports, the guard. I didn't play no sports to get the Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. I didn't play no sports to get peace, prosperity, positivity, and progression to all. Beans. I didn't play no sports to get the man cheese. Yeah, I didn't play no sports. I didn't play no sports to fuck that bad bitch. I didn't play no sports to get filthy rich. I didn't play no sports to live like this. Yeah, and they want us playing ball just to get our wealth. Five years later, we broke with bad health. I'm talking no one cares, we got bad weed. I'm talking no one cares, we got mouths to feed. Yeah, we on the sideline with the pain. We can't even walk straight, we feel the pain. From all the biggest games to the smallest events, make sure every bet is worth your while at my boogie. Start by doubling your first deposit instantly with my boogie first deposit bonus. Double your money before you even place a bet. All you have to do is sign up and deposit using exclusive promo code ORGANIC at MyBookie. There are a ton of great games and prop bets to take advantage of this week, but let me point you in the right direction for your first wager. This Sunday, two powerhouse offenses. We're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs take on the Dallas Cowboys. Woo, them boys have been on a tear this season. While the Chiefs continue to struggle, take the Cowboys to cover the spread so you can walk away with the bread at my bookie. Yeah, that rhymed. But don't wait any longer. Head over to my bookie today. Redeem your promo code organic and double deposit bonus. So you can get in the game. Start winning big today. One more time. That promo code is organic to receive double your first deposit instantly in your account. No hassle. No wait. Last thing. Bet anything Anytime, anywhere, my bookie. I have no fear. Mr. Organic is here in the color. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in the Organic Nation. G Squad, of course, can't forget the G Squizzle. And don't forget this part the Gargoyle Gang, the Gang, the Gang, Gang, the Gang, the Bang, the Bang. Hope everybody keeping it pure, enthusiastic and not so theatrical with their thoughts and patterns and actions and thoughts and patterns and actions and all that good stuff, man. But, um, oh yeah, organiclifestyle.com is getting a makeover. So right now the site is down, but I'm upgrading everything. We're making it top level. So now the merch will be displayed in a more convenient way, in a more, you know, uh, aesthetically sound way. And also gonna set up some things for you guys to get different memberships, different courses, different everything. It's gonna be this top level. It's gonna be a real site. Instead of just a little merchandise site, it's gonna be a real website. So I'm doing that for you guys. Also, I just want you um, to always improve yourself. That's what I want you guys to do. So I gotta do it too. So we're taking it up another level in 2022. And like I said, all this new merch that I'm about to drop is gonna be so exclusive, so luxury. This site has to match the merchandise. So I hope you guys appreciate it because I put a lot of time, a lot of money and effort into that. On top of that, um, the bags. I know everybody keeps asking me about the one of the ones luxury bags. They're coming soon. Um, I got a first prototype here going to picture. Boom. Boom. You can see that gargoyle skin on there. We got uh, four different colors, that red with the white. We got the uh, black with white. We got the green with the black and also like a teal turquoise with the white legendary and they're all in that leather gargoyle skin so y'all gonna love it and enjoy it so I, I look forward to delivering that to you guys now without further ado i came to address the situation with the alex Choi guy um like i said man i hear the bully no little dude like that i ain't i ain't trying to have no altercations with nobody because i know how far in the stint i would go in a real physical form so i don't engage in no encounters with nobody especially on the internet and just in case you see somebody in person it gets for real, like, you got to be smarter than that. So I ain't got no problem with nobody. So that's why anybody you see out there making videos about me, you see me never go back and talk about them. It's just weird. And, you know, hopefully one day we all can meet in person and have a conversation. Um, that goes for anybody who ever says something about me. Um, but I know that's not going to happen. So with that being said, with me, I don't engage into bullshit. So I just had to make a statement because 
this is not only taken up for my situation, it's for everybody that's in this car community, this YouTube community that's black, that had to do with the scrutiny of going the harder way, grinding from a different aspect, putting more money and more push into their brand just to get backlash from people that's been in this shit. It's a little easier for them. That's just a fact. So with that being said, um, I had a situation that I felt I needed to address and that was with Alex Choi. And I did. Um, to me, it still was a dumb statement. It was an illiterate statement. And he acknowledged that as the test, um, the inbox you see here, boom. <laughs> boom um so he acknowledged that he didn't mean it that way and I, I, he probably didn't but he just got to watch your mouth you know what i'm saying people get hurt and get killed for less and, and a lot of the people get uh blackballed and all that shit for less so we got to watch what we're saying especially when you're talking about uh, people that you know been through a lot of scrutiny a lot of adversity and in, in, in it for a fucking eternity so i had to speak up not only for my people but my for myself and as you see in the, in the inbox you can see that he says um he never seen my page before. He don't know me. And that's fine. I'm not going back and forth because I'm not, like I said, we scratched it. I am going to keep it going. But as we know, I have been in video with him before. You know, you can see the video. The link is below in the description. I never really properly introduced myself. Oh, oh, Slim. Mr. Organic. Alex. Nice to meet nice you, champion. Nice to meet you, Mr. Organic. I appreciate yes, you, man. With DDE, me and Tall Guy, he come up. Oh, Mr. Organic says my name and everything. When I see him, we acknowledge each other. And if he said he'd never seen me in life, come on, bro. Like, that's weird. Like, that just don't make no sense. But it's not a big thing, though. So, for me, you don't know me or not. If you want to say that, that's fine. That's not going to make me or break me. Like I said, I felt it was an issue not only for myself, but as a black car tuber, as a YouTuber in general, I had to address that and speak up for my people. And, and I felt like the point was uh, taken. And we had a conversation. Well, wasn't that hard of a conversation. Like I said, I'm not trying to bully that dude. I ain't trying to bully nobody. Only like enemies that's, that's wor worthy adversaries. And I ain't seen one yet. So, of course, a guy like that, we're going to keep it cordial. Like he said what he said. Said, oh, that wasn't talking about you. I didn't even know your page. Never Which is a falsehood. You see my page. Come on, bro. See my cars. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was in a video with me and my dog Slim and DDE. But um, with that being said, the shit is over with. It's not that serious. I just want to make sure that he understood that was some ignorant shit to say. That's disrespectful to my people. And it was disrespectful to me. And I'm not going to stand for it. That's it. And that's what I did. He acknowledged it and we moved on. No, for everybody else that's harassing them and DM them, it's over with. Let it be. You know what I mean? That's a learning experience. See, that's a problem with a lot of people in general, not only my community, other communities and all communities, is that conversation. You got to be able to have that rapport with each other. You have opinion. I have opinion. Boom. You said something you didn't understand. I can help you understand. That's how you build. That's how you grow. That's the organic way. I'm not in no streets no more. I'm not trying to be aggressive with nobody because the extent I'm going to go, it ain't going to be good for nobody, me or the other person. So why even put that in the air? Let's keep it positive. Let's keep it progressive. So with that being said, I made my statement. He said he acknowledged he was wrong for that. Took it down. It's all good. Other part, but not knowing me on that, we all know. Come on, man. And if it is true, who gives a fuck? Who cares? You know what I mean? It's not that serious. But if you want to see the video when we did meet each other, it's linked below in the description. But end of the day, this is the point. We had a conversation. I made him understand something that wasn't right, that you cannot speak upon or say to my people and put that on the air. And we rectified it. So that goes on to the next person. So, for instance, if another YouTuber, another white person, Chinese, Mexican, whoever says this about another YouTuber of our ethnicity, really a black nigga like me or any other, you don't say nothing this ghetto when you're referring to something that has to do with our culture. And when you speak upon rappers, that's our culture. We invented the rap music. You know what I'm saying? 95, 98% of all rappers is probably black. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta think about that. And that's our culture. Hip hop is our culture. You understand me? So when you speak upon that, you're basically putting everybody that's in that culture, which is 98% black, in that category we are the rappers now the consumer of the music of course is going to be the whole world but the people that are in that and making these songs on it come on man so clarify if you're talking about somebody you got to talk about them directly it's just conversations and i don't think it was a, ma a malice intent but we're going to rectify that shit for real because that's what i'm gonna do and that's why any, anybody would do in my position that got some type of authority understanding so like i said with that being said it's all good alex go about your business 
nothing but love. You know what I mean? Anybody out there, ain't no reason to DM them. Don't, don't comment on the shit no more. It's over with. That's how you move in a grown, organic fashion, positive, progressive way. Speaking of that, I want everybody to go out their way to do those same things. No reason to be so aggressive and so, you know, destructive in this area of conversation because it can get drastic. So, all right, and as we see, R.I.P. the Young Dolph, um, that's why we just got to move more, you know, pure. So I don't know exactly what happened with him, but as we know, he had different situations in the air with music and all that. That's why I don't go back and forth with people on no internet or in music with no beef and talking shit and saying names and all that. I just don't do that. I don't, like I said, I don't know that man's situation. I'm just talking about that's why I move the way I move in a positive manner. And if it is a situation, I'd rather to see somebody in person and we can handle it accordingly. And at the same time, I don't want to put them up fucking, <laughs> I want to surprise you. We got a problem. I feel like, nigga, that's how you're supposed to move. We got to be smart. I ain't going <laughs> to, I'm just keeping it real with you. That's how you move strategic and got to be a real, you know, <laughs> uh, agent of destruction if you're on that type of time, baby. You don't want everybody to know your business. And at the same time, too, when you put something out there, it leads to outside talking and make you do something you don't want to do or make somebody else do something they don't want to do by putting that energy out there. So I advise anybody, if you have a problem with somebody or somebody antagonizing you, don't initiate it back. And if you do have an issue, you see the person in person and then you handle it accordingly. Most likely, Handle it in a positive manner with a positive conversation or a confrontational confrontation and get an understanding through the communication and you rectify it in a civil manner. Now, if it doesn't go that way, then God bless all parties and it is what it is. But you want to initiate that in a positive manner and end it in a progressive manner. That's how you do it in grown man status. That's how I move. That's how I want everybody to move that watch me. Because, you know, it's just too much bullshit in the world and we preach that too much. Let's preach and push positivity to each other. You understand me? Like all these people bringing this negative stuff for people for no reason. It's just a shameful situation, brother, especially people that look just like you. Like, what is the purpose behind that? We got to truly think, like, why are we attacking people that look like us? Why are we attacking people that don't even know you or trying to take them out their spot for what? No matter what, that ain't going to stop their growth. It ain't going to stop you from doing what you're doing. It ain't going to help doing what you're doing. So you got to think about that. So when it comes to me, Mr. Organic Man, I'm just keeping it pure and positive. I ain't going to never stop what doing what I'm doing. As we see, I'm not the biggest YouTuber in the world. I don't make all my money from YouTube. I make all my money from my grind. I make all my money from my branding of myself outside of this. So this is just fun to me. I like interacting. I like building my brand on it. But end of the day, man, it's other people that people can engage with that will engage back with me. It's going to end bad or it's going to end cool but it ain't gonna be on the internet and it ain't gonna help nobody. So it, it, that being said, I was standing up for my people. So shout out to Alex Choi, we rectified it. Hope him not, wish him nothing but the best. And I hope he move a little more accordingly and he understand my community just don't like those situations and he cleaned it up and it's cool. And like all you guys getting mad and saying, oh man, he said he don't know you and all that. Don't trip on that, that's nothing. We know the truth. And if he don't remember, don't know who gives a fuck. No one cares. The situation is rectified. So leave that man alone. Keep it pure. Keep it positive. Keep it progressive. Take a seed of what I've done today and do it in your life. We already know who I am and how I can move. But why when there's no reason for it? Use your energy to something positive. Use your energy to something progressive. And that's it. That's all. No need to keep on antagonizing bullshit. It's unnecessary. You hear me? So that goes for me. That goes for you. That goes for everybody. Keep it pure. Keep it positive. Keep it progressive. That's it, man, Mr. Organic. Make sure you go to OrganicLifestyle.com. The new merch is insane. The new products is insane. Make sure you go get those new books. And you know what I'm saying? Grow yourself, man. That's it. I'm just trying to help you build a brand. I don't need nothing from nobody, man. I did it. I made it already. All praise the most high. But at the same time, hey, take what I give, take what I give you and use it in your best interest. Hopefully, you can grow, grow your brand. Hopefully, you get some self-confidence, self-motivation and spread those seeds to your people around you, just like me and Slim do with the people around us, not only family, but friends and all of you guys, the gargoyle gang, the gang, the gang, gang. With that being said, I'm out of here, man. You see me sitting in the throne. Shout out to my dog, the real icon with the legendary paintings and all that stuff, and his NFTs. Make sure you fuck with him. He's an iconic individual when it comes to his art. And um, that's it, that's all, man. The Rari, um, I'm gonna give you an update, update soon, but from what I'm hearing, man, it's a little bit more 
than the battery that's messing up. So I don't know what it is, but we're gonna figure it out. All right. So I'm up out here. Keep it pure. Keep it positive. Keep it energetic. This is a Patek Philippe, man. Chandelier. Yeah, look at that. Look at that motherfucker. Zoom in on that. How a nigga like me got this? I'm huh? big white man mode shit, man. This motherfucker made in 1800s type, man. Look at this jewelry. <laughs> Originally. Look at my neck. Is it colorful? Come on, man. No pain. No progression. You hear me? Everything is a blessing. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting on the king throne all alone. <laughs> Keep the machine gun like Al Capone. Three of Three of them. God. Yeah. See my wrist on freeze, yeah. See my wrist on freeze, yeah. See my neck on freeze, yeah. See my neck on freeze, yeah. You ain't getting none of these, though. You ain't getting none of these, yeah. Pocket filled with G's, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't talking about Gucci, yeah. I ain't talking about Louis.